Hello wonderful people, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. I'm doing some reviews today. Yesterday I couldn't do uh, because uh, I was out and a bit tired. Uh, very hot and humid. Now it's overcast conditions. It rains sometimes, it gets flooded. But then you know that city jam never rests. It gets worse. And also the humidity makes you sort of like burned out. You know, you get kind of like out of energy. So couldn't do videos much yesterday. So I'm going to make up for that. I'm going to make five videos today. Uh, some of you are like, oh no, no, here comes a tsunami of reviews. Anyway, that's what I do. So we have a fragrance, very special one. Okay. Uh, this fragrance have a lot of history after I think 10, 15 odd years. I've been looking for this perfume. Okay. I'll tell you the story as you go. But today we have a sort of like 1995 or seven release. I forgot exact year. Uh, this is the OG aquatic fragrance, you know, long time back. This actually is a vintage perfume. This is called Hugo Boss Elements, okay? Elements Aqua. So I found it recent times and I think the bottle, the juice color changed a little bit over the years and it's very old bottle. This one was released like 90s. Let me check. I have actually Fragrantica open. Uh, this was a release of what year? Um, 1997, that's correct. And it basically is a very uh, dif distinctive smell back in the days. So the story with this fragrance is, uh, I visited Singapore somewhere in 2003, uh, four around that time. And uh, we had some relatives, like my father had some colleague and their relatives stay there. And Singapore is very much like a, like a city, you know, we went to a city, it's basically not that much trees, you know, it's just all city, very modern, very clean, very nice city. I love Singapore. Uh, but we were living in Malaysia. Malaysia is a much bigger country, but Singapore and Malaysia are sort of like borders. So I went to Singapore. Uh, we went to a uh, shop called, I forgot the shop name. It's one of those uh, like Hanifa or something like that. I forget the name. So basically it's like Indian uh, sort of a uh, owned shop. And they have a lot of perfumes and stuff. So that time I was into fragrances, but I would not say I was a very expert. I had CK1, Daniel Desire, Red, perhaps those fragrances. I don't remember. But uh, I remember they had this fragrance. I was like, Hugo Boss. Oh, I know Hugo Boss. I, my father used Boss bottle. Let me try this. I saw the box and I took it. It was very cheap. It was like 20 Singaporean dollars or something. Or uh, 30, 30, 30, around 30-ish. Sorry, 35 Singaporean dollars. I remember exact. And I was like, oh, that's cheap. And I was like, hmm, let's just take it, you know. I win, yes. And I came home, uh, came back to KL, Kuala Lumpur. And I opened the box and I saw it was actually aftershave. And I got very sad, but I still used it as a splash. But aftershaves are not the same as perfume, not as concentration, a lot more alcohol and stuff. Smells there, but it disappears quickly. This is the story. I finally found the fragrance. Okay, I have it pre sprayed on the paper. Okay, I can smell it. And here you go. I don't know how many bottle size it came with and how many reviews are out there, but it's my pleasure doing this review. So this is that box. It has kind of like a watery uh, dew on the box. It's very nice design. Boss, Elements Aqua. 100 ml, this is EDT, and uh, here is the back, okay? So basically, that's the box. Uh, just give me one second. Yeah, I just wanted to, because something was bothering me, like, I need to know, like, when I give you information, I want to know for sure what I'm giving you. Yeah, there is apparently a 50 ml bottle size. Perhaps they also had a smaller one. Hugo Boss does multiple bottle size. I don't know if you can find this anymore, but uh, one of our uh, members, brother Tom Cruise, uh, I think he's from States. Uh, he actually said he found it at one site, but it's extremely expensive. So I think part of this is going for two, three hundred dollars now, which is crazy. Here's the bottle. And I uh, will tell you, the juice color doesn't look the same as the how it's supposed to be. This is supposed to be like purplish, dark blue color, like the cap, something similar to that. But over the years, it will take this color, I think. It's kind of like a, uh, it's still got some blue tinge to it, but it's more like gray. So th what happened with CH Man Preve, it changed, juice color changed from light gray uh, to now more brown, okay? So this is what happens with the over the years. So at the back, you see very beautiful bottle design. This one, as you can feel, the bottle is just a stunner, okay? Simple bottle, elegant looking bottle. It's like got these curves, okay? Nice little curves at the side. But apart from that, it's like a simple, like you see back in the days, Brute or some things will have this cap. I, I mean, this kind of bottle. So this is Nuck Fit cap. Not very heavy, but uh, it sticks. You can pick it up. Base got the sticker. And the cap has not much weight, but it's just nice blue and I think uh, metal finish. And then here is the atomizer. Uh, the 
sprayer is very good you know when i spray it atomizer is very very big okay very nice atomizer so it's my pleasure talking about it as you can understand sometimes you have sentiments towards the fragrance it uh, basically it's special so i didn't know back in the days what the notes so the notes as per as fragrantica goes it has interesting notes breakdown wait uh, we have uh, in this top notes are pineapple mint and lavender middle notes are pepper tea freesia coriander and base notes are uh, sandalwood vanilla vetiver and patchouli thank god to my new specs i changed my power and now i can read you know i couldn't read far away things you know even the close things sometimes i would have problem so anyway uh, how much of that we get in this this is not the most natural smelling any of those smells okay like pineapple mint lavender when i smell it first thing i get i am welcome with kind of like a typical 90s sweet opening which is fruity but synthetic not to the point of bubble gummy but it has the fruity tinge to it and definitely not the most modern smelling back in the days you know there are stories like men would say i smell it on my younger i'm elder brother or my father it smells amazing it's like this fresh aquatic blue at the same time some peppery cake very masculine and mostly they would say fresh back in the time this was the fragrance which actually sort of represented the aquatic fragrance in aquatics so think of aqua digio that time dolce and gabbana light blue so this is before that right this is even more retro than aqua digio in my humble opinion when i smell it it's kind of fresh sweet very fruity and one uh, downside of this because it got some age to it it gets sort of like alcohol blast in the open i don't know if the fragrance itself had it but over the years perhaps it gone the top note little bit little bit alcoholic but that just goes away after 5 7 seconds then you start smelling that uh, nice little fruitiness but the fruitiness the pineapple is kind of like a synthetic pineapple note so it's not the most pleasant pineapple or most delicious like aventus or some of the other pineapples i have smell better pineapple so this is not a pineapple dominant perfume so remember that but this is basically an aquatic with a lavender so back in the day they did lot of lavenders in the fragrances so for me it's a think of diesel was the fragrance with a thumb up you know like the fist diesel uh, i forgot the name of the fragrance only the brave it has sweetness like that it's similar to that fragrance but that one is a little bit more leathery this one i don't think there's any leather but yeah the pepper as i told you a little bit spicy kick the pepper pops up right from the beginning even though it's listed in the middle so it gets a tea note i basically do not find tea but i get more like the musk uh, they said vanilla but i get like a musky dry down and it doesn't have so much transformation you know opening of that synthetic pineapple note a little bit of a uh, sweetness pepper the tea hints of it but mostly a musk fragrance so it's an very simple like an you remember like a still water on the ocean like if you can imagine the water there's no storm there's no wind it's just a nice blue water uh, it's uh, relaxing it's kind of sweet masculine uh, but it gives you vibes of 90s okay very relaxing simple fragrance doesn't smell like anything Uh, relevant today okay like not relevant as in like this fragrance is not relevant no relevant as in like whatever smell you have around you nowadays you will not get this smell uh, anywhere this one is like if you used to watch friends tv series right uh, you can relate putting this on and then watching and enjoying back then all the friend cast was like friends cast were young joey or rachel or any of the other characters this is that time okay so definitely brings back memories not a fragrance maybe i would wear in the ocean of so many other fragrances maybe not the most modern one but you know those uh, nostalgic fridays we have fridays weekends that movie time you know we used to watch tv we used to have only one channel <laughs> so we used to have a movie of the week uh, this is that time okay definitely a uh, nostalgic perfume it's a collector's vintage item and it's going to be not appealing to perhaps youngsters because they'll find it a bit dated because that fuji lavender vibe it's not very heavy but florals you know sometimes florals in men's fragrance nowadays it's it's not in uh, style anymore as at least at, at this current moment but i think this is a very masculine fragrance those who are over 40s they will definitely relate with this fragrance and this will bring back memories uh, not a fragrance that i would say hunt it down unless you have special memories with your father or your elder brother or anybody you're close to you apart from that i would not this uh, tell you this one those hugo boss that you go and run and buy okay you can give it a try if you say a vintage shop it's a collector's item you can sell it for a very good profit margin but apart from that it's just a nice fragrance right now nothing crazy going on here okay so for the memories it's a 
elements aqua uh, hugo boss uh, like hugo boss number one this one these are the old days of uh, hugo boss this is how they used to make fragrances nowadays they wouldn't make anything like it right uh, overall this fragrance rating if you ask me realistically among the other fragrances like for the memories it's 10 but ideally i'll give it like a 7 out of 10 out of respect okay give it a try it's a nice little fragrance uh, it's a bit uncommon nowadays but also nothing crazy going on okay thanks very much for watching uh, hopefully you guys give it a try time to move on to the uh, next review take care